welcome back friends for the part b of this question so initial velocity was given to me which was 20 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal and the time taken to land on the ground is three seconds and find the height of the cliff that's what i wanted to find out so before i dive into solving the part b and part c i will talk about some of the basic concepts so if this is a cliff and uh, uh, I am throwing something with 20 meters per second 20 meters per se oops I will rather show it here this is 20 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees and this projectile takes th three seconds to land on the ground that's the condition given to me so now if I find out the vertical component of this projectile the vertical component of this projectile will come out to be 10 meters per second and then the horizontal component of this projectile will come out to be 17.32 meters per second you can also find it by applying the mathematical equations that is 20 20 cos cos of 17.32 will give you 7 oh, oops oops 20 cos of 30 degrees 20 cos of 30 degrees will give you 17.32 meters and then i'm just applying the trigonometric concepts here so 20 sine of 30 degrees will give you 10 meter per second uh, so i figured out the vertical and the horizontal components and the time taken is when you've thrown the projectile at 20 meters per second was three seconds so now if i throw the projectile let's say with a velocity of 10 meters per second in the vertical direction like this so this projectile i'll change the color so this projectile when it travels with the vertical speed of or with vertical velocity of 10 meters per second this will also land on the ground after three seconds if i've thrown something with 20 meters per second and it took three seconds to reach on the ground and i'm gonna throw the same device with 10 meters per second in the vertical direction and that will also land on the ground after three seconds and same concept holds good if i'm throwing something with the velocity of 17.32 meters per second it will also land on the ground after seven after three seconds so this is the concept which we need to remember now what i can do is by knowing this concept i can take the vertical component of the velocity and whenever we are asked to find the height oops whenever we are asked to find the height we can convert a 2d problem into a one dimensional problem what do i mean by that this projectile this was given to me that it is 20 meters per second now i've converted it into converted into one dimensional problem by taking its vertical component so if i throw something with 10 meters per second and then it takes three seconds to land on the ground I wanted to find out the net displacement delta d that's what i wanted to find out so this is the displacement which i wanted to find out and that displacement will be equal to the height of the cliff so delta d is equal to v i t plus half g t square and i have to find the vertical so this is y that's why i'm specifying y component because everything is in the vertical direction so this initial is 10 times 3 plus half this is negative 9.81 gravitational for gravitational acceleration due to gravity is always negative because it always acts in the downward direction this is 3 square and that's going to give you 30 minus 44.14 that's going to give you 14.14 meter meters negative so negative sign represents that be, that you are measuring the height displacement from this point do you uh, because the displacement is in the downward direction so understandably this value came out to be negative so this is negative 14.14 meter that's what we got so we've solved for part b now we will try and solve for part c which is the find the maximum height achieved by the projectile that's what i wanted to do so again i'm trying to find the height achieved height is what height is always in the vertical direction so i'll again take the vertical component of the velocity v i y equal to 10 meters per second that's given to me and then 
what will be the velocity on top so i wanted to find this height with respect to the ground this height this this height i know that the height of the cliff is this is 14.14 meters if somehow somehow i can find this value from this top to this this point i'll add those two values 14.14 and this question mark i'll add these two values and that's going to give me the result so initial velocity is 10 meters per second in the upward direction and time time is the time given to us no we don't have the time time taken to reach on top we don't have that value remember i can't say it if i'm going to revise the concept if i'm throwing something from here it reaches on top and if i catches it in back in my hand then time taken on top will be half of the time taken total time taken for the projectile motion but if it lands on the ground then we cannot say that time taken to reach on top is the half of the total time so we are not given with the total time uh, we are not given with the time taken to reach on top shall i say so velocity initial is given to me and velocity final let's say what is the velocity on top here that will be zero that's why the projectile changed its direction in the downward direction and now velocity final on top is zero meters per second and uh, g value again negative 9.81 meters per second i'm going to look into the per second square uh, i'm going to look into the formula sheet and i will pick formula which which excludes the time which does not talk about the time so the formula will be velocity final square minus velocity initial square plus uh, equal to 2a delta d that is the formula which i'm going to use i'm going to erase it from here so that i can have space to write so this is this is this is zero velocity on top minus 10 square equal to 2 times 9.81 delta d and this is negative here and this negative is outside the bracket so i'll keep this negative sometimes what students do is they they put in the calculator as negative 10 square and they end up getting 100 positive but this is negative is outside this is 10 you are squaring the 10 you're not squaring this negative so this value is negative 100 is equal to this this is a negative value multiplied by 2 this is equal to 19.62 delta d and then dividing both sides by 19.62 19.62 that's gonna give me if i divide these two value 100 oops 100 divided by 19.62 that's gonna give me 5.09 delta d delta t delta d comes out to be delta d comes out to be 5.5.09 and the total height with respect to the ground so the height with respect to the ground max height from the ground is equal to 14.14 plus 5.09 so this will be plus 14.14 that will come out to be 19.2 19.23 meters hopefully you were able to understand some of the concepts of the projectile motion thanks for watching have a good day bye